Hello everybody, how are we? My name is Unicorn Pondu. Welcome back to another video. Who oh boy, today has been a doozy, let me tell you. Chantal went live, her and Didi kind of had a slap fight pretty much. You know, the same old like, my man, you're a man, my man, you're a man, yada, yada, yada. But then I was going to cover that live stream, but then she came live again for this one and who oh boy, it is a doozy. Now a little warning, if it does get repetitive about the things that she keeps complaining about, I might skip forward a bit, but it's... <laughs> pretty much a two hour mad live stream which you know super happy super you know in love super not bothered by anybody but with that said i guess let's see what chantal has to say today shall we which by the way a little warning um i did screen record this so that way i wouldn't have to wait like 30 minutes to try to download it like i usually do like i did with the other live stream so if, if the speed seems a little bit weird it's because i had her set to two times speed to try to catch up to her in real time, but then that kind of messes with the audio bit. It's not just you, it's a me thing, sorry. Anyway, so let's get to the video. <laughs> so I have members only on because I only want to talk to my members. <laughs> yeah, which went until Chantal maybe had <laughs> six members and then she got bored and turned on subscribers only mode again. No, I, there's a lot of you who are members who are very nice and I love you guys, but I want a small chat, okay? I'm okay, no I'm not, I'm really, really not. Well, she got off live not too long ago, and she's already changed the title. <laughs> the title was originally New Rules, I'm Done. Now it's y'all are sad, sad people. Ma'am, the only person here really sad is you, unfortunately. You're miserable, you can't have your junk food, or, you know, you're trying to cope with your junk food, but of course you can't do that without scrutiny from your chat. It's just it's not a good time over there, and it seems like a very personal problem. I need to vent about things. I'm making shisha before you say anything. I'm having a hard time quitting. I hate drama. Yeah, I hate drama too, Leslie. So I realize. Yes, no, welcome to Vampire Beast. Rage Beast. The duality of her to be super serious, super stressed out, but then the money comes in. Oh my gosh, welcome in, y'all. I don't know how people can sit on panels like Yaba, like FFG, like everyone, like all of the other millions of channels that talk bad about me every day. <laughs> millions, ma'am. Oh, ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. I can't speak for everybody else, but I mean, I do give you credit whenever you do make a semi-wet decent video. Might want to start there. And then clutch their pearls when I have something to say. Or, or I'm the bad person, you know what I mean? So I realized that for my mental health, and I realized this watching Yo Mama, which, call me petty all you want. I'm never fucking watching that idiot again. Never. Hi, Teardrop! Shrimp basket. Hi, Teardrop! I'm sorry, but he's over there accusing me of contriving, faking drama with Aisha and leaking DMs of people. What, whose DMs have I ever leaked? Be like, whose? I've been in fights with many people. I've never doxed people. I've never doxed their information when they've sent me things. He's making it sound like, don't send Chantal picture, uh, kid, uh, pictures of your kids if you don't want I don't trust Chantal. Like, what? Excuse me? Are you Are you serious? Who's, whose kids? Why would I do that? Number one, she never sent me pictures of her kids. Like, he's full of crap. And, like, for me to hear that, like, people talk about me that way, why am I going to tune in? You know, why? Why? Even hearing the drama through him, it's just, it messes, I can't listen to it. I can't. Yo, mama, teardrop. I can't listen to it. I can't. I'm sorry. And you're not welcome in my chat anymore, okay? So please spread the word. I don't want him here. Because all he does is come in here and, and make up drama or, like, try to stir the pot and create drama. Like, it's not cool. It's not, like, you know? He's a rat, yeah. Sniffs around. Kaboom. You can get it. You have something wrong with your head. I saw what you said. Believing Aisha. Well, when it comes to receipts of what's been going on, it's not really looking good in your favor, unfortunately. So yeah, naturally people are going to believe Aisha over you because you're a known liar. That's that's usually what happens when you lie a lot. <laughs> also going to be censoring out some things because YouTube does not like it if there's a lot of swearing, unfortunately. Sorry. That I cheat on my husband. So I don't care if you're a troll. I don't want that kind of troll in here. But you're not welcome. Sorry. Seriously. Kiss my So... I'm like over the incredibly immature trolling the stupid sh I'm not into that. Like I don't find it funny. It obviously affects me mentally. Yeah, you were right to your job, I know. And then they come they think, oh, I'm just a troll. Well, no, what you say affects people. Like, get out of here. And yet you're giving the trolls exactly what they want. And you willingly do it. You could have left at any given time, deleted this, pretend it never happened. But no, she was on here for two hours doing this primarily the entire live stream. And that goes for me too. Like, I'm not making any more videos. Desperate, thirsty idiots, liars can make up all the content they want about me. I don't care. Whatever. I don't care. Like, take what you want. Whatever. Yeah, he's not welcome here. Anybody who's like just strawberries and cream too. I don't want you saying things like, oh, whatever, Lord Farquaad is sniping. I don't care. She has no f either. She's another piece of sh a critical piece of crap. 
who looks like Robert De Niro, who needs to take care of her kids and leave me alone. I just want everyone to leave me alone. Like, I seriously do nothing to these people. I do my content. Like, seriously. Do I have a channel dedicated to somebody? Hours and hours of bad talking someone? Like, no, I don't. I don't. I cannot listen to any of that sh drama anymore. So immediately, if you bring up any kind of drama, I don't want to hear it. I don't care. You don't have my best interest in heart. Like, all you do is bring up drama. She's very weird for seeking, talking to Salah behind my back and, and trying to, to say that I'm cheating. She's ridiculous. She's a horrible fake Muslim. Okay, so she's an awful person to try to let your man know that you possibly might be speaking to somebody else or whatever you were doing on Telegram. I don't think that's how that works, ma'am, unfortunately. It's not worth my energy. That's the thing. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. They're all weird like that, ECP. That's what gives me the ick. I don't want people like that in my energy. And like, I'm, I'm at fault for even entertaining it. I'm 100% at fault for this new wave of drama that's happening, for people talking about it for your mama salivating over there with his new tea, for everything. I'm responsible for that. I take full responsibility and I wish I hadn't even addressed it. I wish I hadn't even made a video. I wish I hadn't even acknowledged this stupid hypocritical hippo loser. I am so pissed at myself. Can you imagine Teardrop? They're all sick, Pia. Like these people are psychotic. So stay the fuck away from me, okay? Because I've had it. And we're the psychotic ones, sure. Um, I don't know how to tell her this, but whatever she's being accused of, <laughs> screaming screaming guilty like just because like what normal person let's say if you were being accused of cheating on telegram or whatever right do you think that you would be reacting like this like truly reacting to this this passionately if you weren't you know doing that no you would be like no i didn't do it okay great moving on to whatever we're going to be doing for the entire live stream but here's chantal calling everyone else crazy calling everyone else this everyone else like huh ma'am you might as well just scream and wave a flag that says i did it i did it because to me that's exactly what's going on inshallah your channel will be taken down eventually because you're nothing but a bunch of idiots and bullies and you contribute nothing not a, let alone to humanity you contribute nothing to youtube you contribute nothing to humanity. You're scum of the earth, the bottom, a scum on the bottom of a shoe, and you don't, I, I really just, you don't deserve my attention. By whose standards, yours? <laughs> oh no, my my content and slash short commentary is not up to Chantal's standards, oh no, ever shall I do? <laughs> Well, ma'am, unfortunately, if nobody cared, I would not be close to 10,000 subscribers, which I wanted to say a big, huge, absolutely gracious thank you so much. I very much appreciate you guys. Yeah, I don't know. Whenever I started this channel, it's just more of like, okay, like, why not? Sure, I might as well try it. And here I am, like, almost, like, two years later, which that is very weird to say out loud. But, again, I wanted to say a big, big thank you, and I still honestly don't really know what I'm doing. But you know what? I'm having fun, as much fun as I can, and that's the only thing that matters. I don't get it. I don't get it. Now this idiot is crying that I'm gonna dox her. She's, she's crying now, after she started this Mm-hmm. And Kelsey Breeze, what a surprise, she's going to reaction channels to spill more fake tea that she doesn't have, just like she didn't have any in the first place. Oh my god, I can't. I can't deal with people. I literally, these people make me hate humanity, and it's not healthy for me to be that way. Well, you could hit end live at any point in this live stream, but no, you were live for two hours. You must not hate it whenever you can monetize it. Because there are good people. They're just not in Gore World, and they're just not in this corner of the internet. Like, at all. Yeah, I moved to Kuwait to escape. To escape, you know what? People like this. People like this. Hmm, you sure it's not to avoid your bankruptcies? Because I have a feeling that definitely might be a huge puzzle piece in that reason. Would you want to have Slimer on your ass and go driving to a fucking dispensary? Sorry for my language, but I'm pissed. To go and stalk you and ask people if you've been shopping there? You don't think that's a bit psychotic? No? Okay. All right. Incredible. Incredible. So I'm escaping, I'm escaping the trashy people from where I'm from. Nothing else. Voila, you don't have trash people like that here. And people hate on the Middle East. You don't have people strung out, drunk and high, walking around on the street causing violence and drama. I don't know. Does she not realize that Kuwait's like a hot spot for deportation? No. Yeah, I didn't think so either. You don't have people talking shit like each other like everyone does. Like, no, I'm sorry. They're obsessed, yeah. Uh, all of this crap? I didn't start any of it. I didn't start any of it. Thanks, Gabrielle. You're not going to derail my progress whatsoever. But yet you're smoking shisha. Sure. If you truly support me, I want supporters, okay? If you support me... You wouldn't try to, to get me to rage. You wouldn't try to bring up drama. And it's my responsibility to not do it. But I'm going through a lot of changes. So I'm more mentally vulnerable. And I don't want to hear people say, well, get offline. No, why should I have to get offline? 
Because of this, this exact reason, you're so emotionally reactive, it gives the reaction channels the content that they want, hence why you should probably log off. But again, almost a decade on YouTube to still not know how this works. Ma'am, you are giving us the exact ammo that we need for content. I, I, it boggles my mind that she doesn't get this yet. Why should I be chased away by negativity? I have a right to be here. I have a right to be in my corner of the internet. <laughs> that Shisha, yeah, I need it. I'm so grumpy right now. I've never, I've been in a fight with Missy Moo. Did I show her DMs? No. Or did I? I don't remember. Well, if you have to question yourself, I wouldn't be super surprised. I don't really remember. That was, oh God, was it last year? The year before? I don't know. Anyways, if you have to question yourself, you probably did at some capacity. I only show things that I'm pushed to show. I don't show people's addresses, uh, phone numbers. The thing with uh, Slimer was so long ago and it was an accident and I offered to change her phone number. Yeah, it's my job. Why should I quit? No, he's a P. They're not even WhatsApp numbers. They're not even my number. I showed my number that I use, or my number that I use on, on um, Telegram. Like, why would, I, why would I make up those fake accounts and still use my real name? Like, it doesn't make any sense. I don't know. How is Aisha able to be able to contact you midstream, though? Hmm, interesting. So, yeah, I'm just going back to ignoring it. So I'm going to try my best. But that means that I have to protect my circle. So if that means, um, I know she's not going to sue me. She's broke. She's broke and stupid. She's full of crap. That's another lie. She literally admitted to lying to tell Salah that I had an OnlyFans just so she could get his attention. Oh, I heard this and girl, we are not stupid. And for anybody that was actually watching Chantal back in the day, we remember. And I was able <laughs> to use Google to find this masterpiece. That definitely looks like you. And the date is 2021, so unless if someone made this photo years in advance... <laughs> I'm pretty sure, I'm like 102% sure you had an OF, ma'am. And you're, you all are gonna trust anything she says? Yeah, of course I'm kind to you guys, I love you guys. They can sue her shoes, they can lick my shoes. Sue for what? Yeah, for her starting drama? And lying to my husband? I don't know, this honestly doesn't look like lying to me. This is factual, this has been a known thing. She even posted like a coochie shot during, like right before or during or after Cuba Rage. I forgot which one it was of her um, coochie <laughs> saying F you. <laughs> so, man, we're, we, we didn't forget that, unfortunately, the people that have been watching you before Kuwait. They're going to look at her like she's a dismiss her. Goodbye. Sorry to say those words, but it's true. Why are you messaging a married husband? That's what they're going to say. I'm not going to give a crap about her. She has nothing. No, he's, he's, he's dumb. He's just... He's over there saying that we made I made up we made up this drama together. I never start beef, Trixie, exactly. Name one beef I started. None. <laughs> yeah, they're just gonna hate is gonna be worse. If you're the type of person who gets excited over some over somebody getting angry and losing it, you're insane. You're sick in the effing head. You know? No, you can't. I know. I know, Meg. No, your mom is over there. I was like, I'm never watching him again. I, it's it's my fault. Like he's so stupid, babe. He's he's like, um, yeah, that we made it up. That uh what else? Oh, yeah. That he doesn't trust me. That uh, that people it's insinuating that I would dox her kids' pictures if she sent me some. She never sent me her effing kids' pictures. I don't want them. I don't care about uh, whatever. I'll say what I want. I don't care if I get deported back to Canada. Whatever. Yeah, he's like uh, just making up stupid crap about me. How did you make it up and get her to participate at the same time? Yeah, so stupid. I just, I'm tired of people without a brain making up things. Like, you know what I mean? The truth will come to light. Yeah, hopefully. No, actually, it doesn't even matter, ECP, if it does, you know? They just find something else, and without proof, they believe everything. So I'm done explaining myself. I'm done with any receipts, with any tea, with any of this stupid crap. Um, I'm just done with it. I'm just done. I don't want anybody in my chat like that. Honestly, I don't care how boring it gets. I don't care how many people are talking. I don't care. Like, I just don't. Yeah, in the same live stream, she gets like five beezers left <laughs> after she had to say what she had to say. It gets more and yawns and then turns into subscriber only mode. So, <laughs> are you sure about that? <laughs> like, how are people defending somebody literally making up lies that I cheat on my husband? Like, what? Our members only stream. Yeah, I'm probably just going to do them. I don't care if there's even only five of us in here. I really don't. <laughs> like, I would tune into him like once in a while, just like watch like, you know, some things. Like, I can't watch, I can't listen to Slimer. Um, I can't listen to any of their voices for too long, so I would never interfere in anyone's marriage, right? Like, I don't know. They're biased. And, and like, I don't know. Yeah, I would never cheat. I said I would never cheat. Like, after, like, I made a promise to myself I'll never do that again and hurt somebody, and I never would. No matter what they do to me, no matter what, I'm not like that. I don't lower, I don't want to lower myself, or I don't want to, you know, be that type of person. So, I'm just like, just leave me alone. Leave me out of your stupid, ridiculous, contrived drama. Like, 
yeah, I moved here to escape this crappy, tr these trashy people. These trashy, trashy people. I want nothing to do with it. Nothing. I don't care. Like, just believe it then. I don't care. Like, just leave me alone. Believe the worst, but just leave me alone. I don't care. I, I just don't. Just leave me alone. Seriously. Every place has trash? No, not like this, Nostune. Not like this. You'd be arrested here, okay? There's no way. Like, nothing was achieved by what the fake Muslim did. She just outed herself to be a liar and admitted it. I lied about OnlyFans. I wanted to get his attention. You wanted my husband's attention. You're disgusting. What lie about OnlyFans, ma'am? You did OnlyFans. And I also did want to clarify, there is absolutely nothing wrong with doing OF or any other sort of sex work, by the way, because, you know, I like it. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. I thoroughly enjoy OF. I was subscribed to a few people on OF. I am very naughty. Like, like I like it. Like, girlies, boys, whoever, like, do your thing. Love you for it. Just be safe, okay? Like, seriously. Like, who knows, Golden Girl? I'm tired of this crap. Like, I'm just tired of it. So I really hope I stick to it. I am never, never, never giving any of these idiot, moron, parasite, whatever you want to call them, zombies. It's just so sus that she didn't even talk to you about it first. I haven't talked to her in so long, ECP. The last thing she messaged me was that she was getting married. She was married and she was happy. Really, happy women don't do that. Also says the alleged happy married woman. Sure. <laughs> she was messaging. She's a snake. You know, she's the biggest snake. Is that remember I was, I hate to bring up the past, but it's important for the story. Remember Big Turk? When I was seeing him and he suddenly stopped seeing me and accused me of having STDs, it's because she went behind my back and told him that. And I was like, what? I'm like, I have trolls. It's not true. So it was her fault. And then she has the nerve to act like my friend and ask for my phone number. If anything, yo mama, I'm the one who should not trust her. Did I come forth and just start airing all her dirty laundry? No, she's the one who's making up lies and trying to air things out. Like what? Yeah, I didn't talk to her. I blocked her. And then she emailed me begging me to talk to her again. I, I put the email in the video. She apologized and was begging. She acts like a 15 year old and this woman has kids. Like, are you serious? Which also, by the way, I'm going to mention this one so that way I'm not doing it 50,000 times in this video. Why are we bringing up kids? Because it has absolutely nothing to do with the story and slash or it's weird. No, I'm not trusting anybody, man. Two bit losers with no, exactly Sandra, yeah. Yep, no, she was never my friend. She just wants attention. She's insane. She's, I didn't know she was around that long. I, I don't think I was even talking to her at that point. I think I started talking to her after, but after I reverted, like she acts so self-righteous, like, oh, I'm a Muslim reaver, but she goes and makes up lies like that and tell and spreads rumors. And she's insane. She's just, I don't even know what to say. Like these people are, I don't want any psychotic people in my life. But I said, like I said, I take full responsibility for like even bringing any of it to attention. It, it's like, it really just makes it worse. And I never learned that. Yeah, I don't know. It's like an F, F, the way she acts, seriously. Yeah, I, I would, I overate and I eat a lot. Like I have issues with food, my own issues. I don't go. I'm not a bad Muslim in the way that I go and like start rumors about people and try to backbite and gossip about them and create lies about them. God knows my struggles with food. That's between me and him, not for you to be self-righteous. Like, what does having struggles with food have to do with trying to ruin my marriage and make up lies about that? The two don't go together. Brain dead. She tried saying she taught you how to be Muslim. <laughs> yeah, okay. Right, to get a husband. Is she like, you're not okay, fake Muslim. You're not okay. I mean, I'll live, I'll move on, but I'm just saying. So new rules for my channel. I don't want people coming in here and trying to start drama. Like, you know, saying things like this person's saying this about you. This person's like, because you don't have my best interest. And if you don't have my best interest when I'm going through changes and I'm trying to better myself and these people are trying to bring me down every day, you don't have my best interest. I don't want you in my corner. I don't want you in my on my channel. Okay, I don't care. Whatever. Keep your membership. Keep your money. Keep your views. Whatever. Oh my God! Someone get this woman a Dorito for the love of God! Like honestly, truly, actually, someone get her a few Doritos. They want you back in Canada. Why? They're insane. This is my life. It's they're so invasive. Sick, disgusting people. Hypocrites. I saw someone commenting in the Yo Mama's chat calling, saying that I'm um, disgusting. I'm not a real Muslim because of the way I eat and smoke. But they called me a C-U-N-T. Oh, you're a better person. Oh, yeah. I'm going to take moral advice from you. You should talk. Freaking loopy people, man. I don't get it. And we're supposed to take you seriously when you use the R word? Like, hello? I hate the C word. Yeah, somebody who calls me that a few times in the chat and then has the nerve to say I'm a bad person. <laughs> Spirituality is a journey, yeah. I honestly never want to be like these people. I don't want to be low like that. No. I'm just not in a good headspace. Like all this, I don't know how people do this drama every day. I don't know how they do it. I really don't. I'd like a members only video. Yeah, I should give you guys that. And mods are different. You're doing a service and you're very supportive. Like, you know, people are just, whatever. Who in their right mind is joyful over someone suffering? All of girl world, they're sick. Yeah, leave the drama to the teens, exactly. I'd quit grouping every single person in the same boat, ma'am. That's not how any of this works. I'm miserable most of the time, but I sure don't waste misery on others. I've never, ever, started drama in someone's life because I believe in what goes around comes around a hundred percent and I don't want to do to other people what I don't want them to do to me and I'm just too grown for that crap you know even when I was the biggest mess of my life I never did any of this crap to people 
could create drama like teenagers and super shocked that there's grown as people available in this world like that way yep like you even you're like you were surprised at how low these people can be you know yeah scrape code it was no i don't think like i should have to log off i don't feel like i should have to this is my job this is my like livelihood i love hanging out with my beezers i love making content well whenever someone finds the content that she's allegedly making let me know and i'll look into it <laughs> and i'm not gonna let that drama negativity like i'm just gonna try to protect myself from it more and not really try not to involve in it you know like i don't know why i felt like i had to make that video and defend myself it just gives more fodder like why did i do that they're raising children can you imagine chewie's mom and that's me talking about kids saying talking about how that's pathetic like, how is that talking about kids? I can't stand these dumb people. The people who are the worst, Trixie, are the most self-righteous. That is the funniest and most accurate thing I think I've ever heard say. <laughs> the most self-righteous. Look at Aisha, the fake Muslim. Look at her for an example of that. Is so mad at me because I was gorging myself on camera. Meanwhile, she's overweight. So why are you preaching? What? do You, you live in a glass house. And does way worse. Makes up blatant lies to try and messages my husband. Like, what? Yeah, remember she would always call me sister and everything. She's full of crap. Why does she care what I do exactly? That's what I'm saying. And I'm gonna say, as I've said a million times, I'm not perfect. I'm not a perfect Muslim. Okay, so you can give yourself grace, but not other Muslims and cool. Good to know. I swear sometimes. Yeah, I overeat, um, whatever, whatever you wanna say. But, ooh, yeah, sorry for randomly pausing, but as I was watching, I was watching her hand because she was acting like she was Italian with that hand back and forth. Not the point of why I stopped, but her knuckles, oh my god. Her blood sugar must be out of control if they're that dark, Jesus. And I should have never even given her the time of day. Just ghost, that's it. All right, not gonna lie, she's starting to repeat herself a lot, so I'm gonna skip forward a bit, sorry, but this goes on for two hours straight, no thank you. And it's true, someone commented, this is not gonna be the last time, you know, that somebody tries to do this, tries to break up our marriage. It's not gonna be the last time, um, or tries to mess with things in my life. I have to protect myself better. I have to not let these energy vampires in my circle. No. Yeah, hopefully we can travel. Like, when I involve myself in drama like this, it, like, discourages me from life, and I just... Don't, I'm, you know, like, I don't get motivated with negativity. Like, I, I need positive people in my corner. Like, mature, grown, positive friggin' people who want my best interest. No one graped anybody. Are you serious? Like, that's such a stupid low accusation. And I better not hear the Slimer say you smoke around your cat because you effing chain smoke Dumouriers around all your pets. And BBJ's not your pet. She'll never be your pet. She probably hates your guts. If I had to live with you, I probably would have taken an overdose of cat treats and ended it. Yeah, this is the mental state these people, these these disgusting people put me in. And I, and I can't allow it. Like, I can't hypocrisy is i can't believe people listen to their sh it's insane well i won't be just like i don't have a twitter so everybody on twitter whoever talks about me all day long i hope you feel like a better person because of it okay don't really care but okay <sighs> it won't be the last person who you think is someone else that turns and, and just tr makes up lies rumors it's not gonna be the last miss you happily married with your little fur family and traveling they're jealous well People are just really insane. Like, it sickens me that people treat each other like that. Really. It's easy to say not engaged, but it's hard to apply because you're a proper normal person with normal person feelings. Exactly, exactly. Chantal doesn't care about that great Muslim lady <laughs> and her fake drama and lies. It's about how she pretends to be close friends with her, turn on her by being a snake and try to poison her relationship. Exactly, exactly. And then the nerve to call me a bad Muslim. Baby, you would know if I was cheating on you, like- Oh, really now? Just like you knew that he was cheating on you emotionally online? Sure. You would know. <laughs> like, please. Doesn't make any sense. Why would I catfish with that woman? I don't even find her attractive. No offense, but, like, I wouldn't pick- If I was catfishing, like, I don't have any problem with how I look. I don't know. Why don't you tell us? And also, girl, it's not about attracting you. It's about attracting other men. Yeah, I think I'll be able to sleep, Becca. I'm not- I'm not gonna lose sleep over these people. But I just wanted to come on here and vent about that. I'm not I'm never ever watching Yo Mama again. I block. Did I block him? No, oh, I'm going to. <laughs> and I'm not like I'm blocking instantly anybody who comes in here doesn't support me and is just trying to start drama. What's her titties out in one picture? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Breathe it, right? Like to say you can't possibly cheat because no man would want you at your size. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's that's what they always go with. No matter what size I've been, I've had no trouble finding a man. Okay. Right, because your last one was such a keeper. That's so stupid and ignorant. All of them are fat. All of them are fat. Like, what? what, what? Yeah, I was married. She's a cow. FFG apparently had a fake boyfriend. Like, when I found you online, I saw your real photos, and even I accepted you like that, and I found out you're very attractive, so this explains how liar she is. Yeah, like, whatever. Oh, my pictures were filtered? Not Like, not all of them. 
And oh, a small smoothing filter doesn't completely change your face. And I also, also, um, we didn't get married in a pharmacy, Alexandra. Oh my god, I can't with the stupidity. That's the best new tea they can come up with and people are going to eat that up. Really? Really? I don't know. For somebody that didn't get married in the pharmacy, she sure is being super reactive to it. Yeah, we got married in a pharmacy. You can literally see the building in the video of our courthouse uh, marriage. Easy to look up. I love how dumb they are. Okay, that doesn't really prove anything, so... <laughs> They're pro experts when they look up the laws of Kuwait. When they when they talk about Islam, they're pro is they're pro everything. When they talk about my diet, they're pro diet. They're dietitians. They're psychiatrists. When they talk about my mental health, but when it comes to something they want to support their narrative, they're dumb, right? But yet, does not see the irony that she also applies that to herself. Whenever she's on a diet, she's a pro dietitianer. Whenever she's losing weight, she's obviously like a, like a pro athlete, obviously, right? So, <laughs> seems like a personal problem again. That they don't know that's a courthouse. That's a pharmacy. Idiots. She's literally taking bits of truth out of your mouth to make it more valid. Y'all mentioned the pharmacy like last week. Oh my god. I don't want dumb people in my space. I can't handle it. Oh well, it's easy to get another man kitten zombie if that one doesn't work out. People get in relationships. Look, if a man doesn't want you because you're fat, he's not a man anyway. He's he's not for you, okay? Let him go find someone else. Whatever. Who cares? You know, there's do you know how many men there are in the world? Men and women? You're gonna say that because someone's overweight? So being super ugly in the face or something like that just because you're thin makes you more wantable, more attractive, more desirable? What about if you're dumb? There's a lot of conventionally attractive women who get cheated on, who have problems. It's not all about that. It's the connection you have with someone, chemistry, uh, personality. Oh, there's so many other things. People are so weird. I don't get it. And yet, unfortunately, you two do not show any of those other things that you just mentioned. There are a lot of men who like bigger women. A lot. Why does it matter where anyone gets married? Right? Seriously. Where can, how can, call every pharmacy in Kuwait. Can you get married in a pharmacy? I love BBW, especially you, babe. Thanks, babe. At least she confirmed we are married. <laughs> yeah, boom. <laughs> exactly. Still by under very, in my opinion, very sketchy circumstances. If we didn't get, we didn't get married though, right? But we got married in a pharmacy? I've never leaked people's DMs. Like, unless it was something, you know, no personal information about people. I can't, she sent me a message once. I didn't even acknowledge it. I just blocked her and, and ignored her. I can't believe I ever supported you. You're disgusting. Like, for eating on camera. Like, do you not know your own size? Or what? So, she's a better Muslim, though, for lying about me and breaking up uh, a relationship I was in, or I, I was seeing, that big Turk guy. And she she tells him lies that have STDs, and that's, that's what makes you a better Muslim, right? Messaging my husband, telling him lies makes you better. Mmm. I think eating is better. She's been following me for years. She already knew I did mukbang. I know, so what's the difference now? Right? Right? And then after begging to be my friend again, and I, I haven't talked to her in forever. I didn't give her my new number. Maybe she's salty about that. So those, those profiles are either people that have old numbers I have, or their profiles she made up, which is probably the latter. Sure, she just happened. Just by magical chance, and get your old phone number and set up a telegram with that information. Sure, mm -hmm, yep, that seems logical. Sure, just as much as I am a ballerina. Because if she's willing to make up that I had an, uh, OnlyFans and all this other stuff, and that person was nude in the picture, it's probably her. Girl, what are you talking about? You were on OF. What are you talking about? Girl, like the whisk photo, the bath, <laughs> the bathtub peep video. <laughs> what do you mean, girl? This is you. This is you. And also, whenever you lost your channel, because, it, you know, whenever she lost her channel uh, with the whole Omegle thing, um, whenever she would live stream on there, she would flash the camera so that way people couldn't, like, stream snipe her. <laughs> Did she forget all of this, ma'am? That is you. Which also, by the way, I know I did censor it, but she is actually in lingerie. But, you know, I just wanted to make sure it was at least YouTube friendly to show that. She can't prove I sent anybody messages. I don't know. She's just full of shit. That's all. It's just straight up lie. I never talked to her on the phone. I never complained to her about Salah as if I would do that. Why would she lie about OnlyFans? That's very evil and sinful. Yeah, it is. It's very sinful. She admitted the sin that she lied just for my attention. She's sick. And I love how you didn't answer her and blocked her right away. I never used it even when I had it. Yeah, exactly. But there's no proof, right? But she even admitted she just wanted him to answer. The thing is, we're very tight-knit, and he would know, you know? I would never do that ever again. Only fans. Never. People think that I haven't really changed, that I haven't changed. Like, that's on them. That's not how the reality is. Like she said, as an American, she's sponsoring a Syrian to immigrate to Canada. Lies and delusion. She's full of crap. She sponsoring with what? Your welfare? I'm sorry, but you can't sponsor anyone. You're full of crap. You can't sponsor anyone as an American to come to Canada, you stupid moron. And I'm not downing you if you're on welfare. I'm just saying she's not, she doesn't have any money. 
so you're doing exactly what you're saying that you're not doing. Cool, great, this live stream can't get any worse. If you ever uploaded on OnlyFans, it would be leaked everywhere immediately and everyone would know, not just the law, right? Like, not just her, but she has special inside information and all the stupid moronic reaction channels are like, oh yeah, let's talk to Aisha. <laughs> Fucking life. They are special and not in a good way. When I did talk to her, she was always complaining about needing money. She couldn't, she couldn't, she told me she couldn't even afford to get a passport so she could go visit this guy she was talking to in Pakistan or something and was asking me for advice and stuff like that and thinking she was trying to, she wanted to hook up with one of Salah's friends and um, she sent me a picture to send to his friend and his friend was like, nope. <laughs> so that went nowhere. And she's a big girl and is disgusted with the way I eat. And I was being nice. I'm like, just, you know, like find her a friend. <laughs> He's like, I don't have any other friends. They're all married. <laughs> Remember babe, I was annoying you with that? Yeah, here's what. I don't wish her on anyone. She's a face hugger. It's really, really, really hard to be a good person all the time, especially when you have so many people just like, you know, it's nice to have people to listen to you no matter what you're talking about, <laughs> you know? Why people get a kick out of involving me in drama? Like I literally am like, the, I'm boring. I don't do anything. You know, I don't talk about people unless they come for me and I have to defend myself, but I never have to defend myself. I really don't, you know? Like, like I said, in this situation, they can, she can go on all the reaction channels she wants for her 15 minutes, no one's gonna care. And she, like, people can make up whatever rumors they want about my marriage. All that matters is that Salah knows the truth. Like, if he even believed a, a second of it. Well, I don't know about knowing the whole truth because apparently he didn't know you did OF. A lot of people, even people in my open chats, don't want that. They want drama. They want me to be miserable. They want me to rage. They like that. That's like, I don't understand people like this. I don't get it. You know, I came here to turn a leaf. I was tired of my messy, drama-filled life. People stalking me in real life. People coming after me in real life. People being too close for comfort. Um, I'm sorry, but driving to a dispensary to my hometown really was weird to me. Really weird. It's just never ends. Maybe I should turn off members only and let everyone talk but block all the, the negative people. Get rid of them. <laughs> yep, told you guys at some point <laughs> she just is over the members only because it's like six or five people at this point and she just goes to subscribers only. <laughs> I remember like I was watching an old stream of mine the other day when I had only members and there was a lot at the time, but a lot of drama, like a lot of drama. We uh, like I don't want to say why she hasn't been vaccinated yet. She was given her vaccines when she was a baby, right? Like a uh, whatever. I don't even know what it was. The the doctor who's gonna spay her very soon. She had to get she has to get a vaccine in like November, early November. Um, maybe like a booster or an update, and then after that she's gonna be spayed. Okay, so yeah. Thank you. And the only reason why is because Chantal would rather spend money on food than actually care for anything other than herself. You're welcome. I feel bad like do you ever like whenever your cat gets vaccinated like they get tired and they, they get sick like they seem sick of it you know for like a couple days like that's not nice i feel bad yeah there are plans in place that's the thing yeah it makes them feel a bit lethargic she slept she always like when she gets her vaccinations she sleeps a lot but she's okay after you know but they need like um certain amount of initial vaccines right and then i don't know what these vaccines are for i should probably ask but i just trust the vet i guess i mean she's an indoor cat you know but they still need yearly i think yearly vaccines and she hasn't had one this year I'm not anti-vax, I just feel bad for her when she gets it done. A pizza delivery person just came and said I ordered pizza and I was going to pay for it. No one in my house ordered pizza and the name on the receipt said Chantal, someone ordered it. But I'm the one, I'm really sorry that happened to you, Teardrop. So I'm the one who doxes people and does this disgusting right? No, I don't do that. Yeah, they probably did dox her. Like, F all the way off. Leave people alone. This is what they do. They try to, like, ruin my friendships with people. <clears throat> I feel horrible she brought pizza and said I'd pay for it. Do you have like a lot of pizza delivery places around you? Like tell her like if any calls come, it's not for you. And Teardrop, if it happens again, don't say anything. Don't give them attention. Like you can message me privately. Do not tell anybody because that's what they want. They want you to react. That's why they're doing it. We have like three. Okay, that's not that bad. <laughs> it's still bad, but it's not as bad, you know? Why is that funny, Alfie? That's not funny. What kind of sick person finds that funny to make a business, make somebody who makes minimum wage working at a pizza shop Grow up. Yeah, ignore the trolls. Who finds that funny? That doesn't affect tear Teardrop or me. It doesn't affect me. I think you're an asshole for doing that, but you're basically somebody whose minimum wage has to, like, bring the pizza all the way there, doesn't get a, a dime out of it. Just what? Yeah, call. just tell them only paid delivery. Yeah. Yeah, I know Teardrop. They're trying to intimidate your relationship with me, basically. They should make people pay. No, he wasn't talking to her, expect. You saw the messages. He blocked her. Where's him talking to her? Let her show some proof. Oh, she'll make that up too, just like those fake profiles. Where? Where, Rain? Where's the proof that I was begging her to sponsor someone? Black Cillian! Hi! Knowing she cannot sponsor him. She can't afford a passport. She couldn't afford a passport, she was telling me. So one, you can't afford to financially sponsor him. Two, you're an American. If he's going to Canada, how can you sponsor him? Show me one message that I sent to her 
Why would I ask her to sponsor him? That just doesn't even make any sense. Please think before you say something. I don't know. That's like the most passionate that she has gotten this entire live stream. So there might be some truth to it. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, private. No, she's full of crap. She's fake as F. No, there's no message rain of her saying that. There's none. There's no, no proof of me ever asking her that. There's no message on X because it never existed. I never messaged her and asked her to sponsor my husband. They're fake. If, if there's messages on X, they're fake. Interesting. Says that they're fake and then insinuates like, oh, well, if they do exist, which, you know, why would you not say that at the beginning? You know, if she does have any, they're fake. Interesting. Very interesting. I hate to tell you. Sorry to burst your bubble. Americans cannot sponsor Canadians to come to Canada. It doesn't work that way. Especially a broke-ass loser like her, okay? It can't happen. Yeah, she faked them. Just like she faked that I had an OnlyFans and she admitted to that. Like, I don't know why people don't see that. Okay, Teardrop, I'm gonna see you soon. I'll talk to you soon. Okay, guys. I'll see you later. Hi, Lizzie. Um, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Who, Lord, there was so much that I cut out, but still, I, we're at, like, almost 40 minutes worth of her raging. Oh, God, that was bad. <laughs> Oh boy, well, I need to unwind from that, but thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, and hopefully she's not raging for two hours. <laughs>